Hey guys, it is the 10th year anniversary of this channel. Some of you guys have actually known me for 10 years. How crazy is that? Check it out guys. I joined in September 12th, 2010. That is 10 years. 1 billion views. That is crazy. Today, we'll be reacting to some of the videos throughout my 10 year journey. By the way guys, wrap in the 10 year merch. If you guys want to purchase your 10 year anniversary merch, head down to the Team Titan store. And let's get to it. Let's react to my very first video. The first ever video is called How to Cut the Line. September 16, 2010. I have not watched this video since since I made it. A lot of my friends would know that I don't like watching my previous videos. So um, this is a little hard for me. <laughs> I'm a little bit cringy. So I can't handle watching myself. Okay, let's get to it. Bang. Bang. Mm -hmm. Bang. Mm -hmm. So that was the logo that we made and we actually used Microsoft Paint. The fact that I even mentioned Microsoft Paint shows how old I am now. Feels like time just passed so fast. And by the way guys, you, you see this logo here? Let me show you something. So my parents-in-law made this for me. So the reason this channel was made was because myself and two other friends, um, we were seniors at that time in our high school back in Vietnam. And we wanted to make hacks and some you know tips and tricks for our juniors to learn so we usually cut the lunch line and that is why we made how to cut the line <laughs> this was in our school canteen oh look at that look at that overexposed sunlight at the back this was really our first video okay chair here and there's one curtain that isn't unfolded while the other one is oh my god we're super ocd about these things we take about like i don't know sometimes it can take an hour to just set up our set but now looking at this wow we've come so far mm, how to cut the line windows movie maker remember oh my god that's me ah oh! oh! <laughs> oh, that's all guy oh hey man oh hey oh, man what's up my son my well, son. I'm freaking pissed right now because my school lunch line is like freaking long and I never get to eat my lunch. <laughs> ah! Oh, son, son. Son, That's son. We'll cut the line <laughs> we will cut the line yeah, tomorrow. We cut how. it every day. <laughs> oh, son. I will teach you how to cut the line with style. Oh, you see? We even had a prelude to our videos, you know? How to cut the line wasn't just how to cut the line. You needed a story and a reason why um, we were gonna cut the line. So if you guys notice, in our sketches these days, we still have a prelude or we have an introduction before we begin the video. So I feel like things haven't changed that much. We still have the essence of um, our very first video, which is nice to see. Ah, oh, our school canteen! <laughs> we have that lady typing in the back. I don't know what's the deal with that. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Ask a hot girl to help. Typical teenagers. I, I, I don't know what, what the deal is with this. Our line suddenly went from the canteen to the foyer. Maybe we got kicked out of the canteen. I don't, I don't know what the deal is. Yeah, this guy, Parut, he's one of my closest friends. And even now, 10 years later, um, we're still really close. To me, he's really like family. Do you mind if I stand next to you? <laughs> Do you mind if I stand next to you? Uh, she has successfully cut the line. Be my guest. So this is how you cut the line. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, look at that story. He teaches me how to cut the line and then I cut his line. <laughs> wow. This channel was actually started by three people, Hong Ang, myself and Tuneng. But when we graduated, I sort of took over the channel because Tuneng was really smart and he went to Oxford University. Hong Ang went to study in Germany, so I was left alone to be the YouTuber. And I never really knew where this channel would go, but I guess 10 years later, I'm still making videos. Staring Mandy. Just Mandy? No one else? Wow, <laughs> we only credited the girl. And for our 10 year anniversary, I will be recreating my very first video, remaking my first ever video. Promise you it will be much better. All right guys, so moving on, I will be watching the first ever student video we did. Hey bro, do you have highlighter? No, highlighter, Oh my gosh, look at how skinny Ridwan was. It doesn't even look like me, it's so weird. Ask me to do anything. 
<laughs> we had no idea what was going on. Back then, our videos didn't really have a script, so we would just improv and do things on the spot. The late student. Hey! The late student, come here! Oh my god, who is that? Oh god. Dude, you look so cool, man. Right? You're my piercings. What happened, man? Oh, that jawline, dude. Cheer, I heard pink in favorite color right now. And green, my favorite color. You were the teacher's pet character. You were the first Denise before Denise became Denise. <laughs> the audio is so bad. I mean, money, money, money. I was Denise before Denise was Denise too. We were still teenage gurus in 2013. I thought I changed it. I'm like a stranger to these, so a lot of things that I see now are also quite a shock to me. I gotta let you guys know that Class T1, T5 was an accident. This series was never meant to be a series. It was supposed to be a one-off video. So the characters that you see, a lot of them are pretty much just versions of ourselves. Good students versus bad students. And that is one of our most viewed videos, if I'm not wrong. Holds a lot of memories and it was sort of the beginnings of what Class T1, T5 is now. So it's very interesting to see how we developed everything from here. Oh, look at Denise. Denise had blonde hair. Oh gosh, Renny Siang used to be so annoying. Basically in the series, Renny Siang is no longer that nerdy self of him because he got heartbroken and he decided to throw away his glasses and change into this bad boy. And we've been wanting to change him back. I'm not going to tell you how, but it's going to be really dramatic and maybe a little sad. That's the story I have planned. Kevin! Uh-huh. I like this scene actually. Um, this was like at 7 p.m. already. It was very late. As you can see, it got a bit dark. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin's so funny. Aw, look at Debbie crying. Look at you before you liked Ben. Mr. Mutu Raja because he sucks. That is. <laughs> this is a bad guy. So yeah, Rini Siang sings the song. And then Mr. Thanos comes. <laughs> and the crazy part is Dudi saves the day and kills the villain. The whole series started because of this video. Wow. Alright guys, so there is this one video called Long Lost Brother. I don't really want to talk about it, but it was just in one of those moments where, you know, because we do videos every Sunday, right? I, I was stressed. I didn't know what video to do. So guess what I did five years ago? I gave a call to Stephen Lim, asked him to come over and <laughs> be my brother. <laughs> Open the door. <gasps> Oh. I can't believe we are families. <laughs> Stephen Lim came with this cake, and guess what? It was burnt, completely burnt. But it was the first time meeting him, and he was so proud of it. And you know, out of courtesy, I was like, okay, I'll just try some. But it was a really sweet gesture. This is the old me, okay guys? I used to not have plans, and when I didn't have plans, I used to do really crazy things like call Stephen Lim. That's not what, that's not what I am about now. <laughs> okay, I did that last week. Hi guys, I'm Steve <laughs> I knew this was a bad idea. Reacting to my old videos, realizing that I actually didn't change at all. <laughs> when I have no ideas, I just call Stephen Lim. Let's move on to another video. <laughs> Alright guys, so the next video is my new YouTube home. I've been personally requested to react to this video by Dan because it was indeed a turning point in my life. Um, I was struggling to find a turning point or which video actually made me because I felt like this whole YouTube channel has been a slow and steady growth and just a lot of hard work and a lot of luck to be honest <laughs> um, over the past few years. But I think it was really this decision that I made in 2015. It was a time where I was supposed to go to university and my parents wanted me to further my studies and I told my parents, wait, just give me a year to try this YouTube thing out. What's the worst that could happen? One year, you know, I realized that it fails. I give it up and just focus on my studies, but no. Things actually took a change. Um, the YouTube channel started gaining a little bit of traction. You guys started following our journey. That was when I decided to become a full-time YouTuber and I actually moved out. Now, this was a point where I just had my first job and that was 15K. Immediately, I decided to invest it back into YouTube. I bought a ton of equipment and I actually rented a house for $3,500. It was sort of our little studio, our little office. Um, as you guys can see here, this was our office. The space was, we barely had any space, so it was only four people. 
it was just a really small space and I made this really bold decision to move. It, it's quite crazy to think about it. I was only 21 at that time. I committed to an 84k worth of rent when I only had 15,000. Thinking about it now, it's crazy. I, I have to say, I am really, really lucky person. Um, I had like the best people around me. I had the best support system. My parents were totally supportive, even though they didn't really know what was going on. But it was really the point when I moved out where they realized like, oh my God, this is real. My son is going to be a YouTuber? I don't know. If you haven't noticed for the past few days on social media, on Instagram and Twitter, I haven't been updating it that much. That's because I've been so busy looking at houses and I finally found one and we're moving in today. We were only considering it for four days. I, I remember moving in on a Monday. So I think it was a Friday where I decided like, hey, this piano room is getting a little bit tiny for four people. What if we moved out into an apartment? And little did I know, in four days, I actually moved out to a new home. Looking at this now, it was really a bold move. And I don't know. I feel like... Crying. This guy would... No, I don't feel like crying. Do you feel like crying? Yeah. I see a little bit of tears. Aw, oh, Dan's crying. No, I'm not. Guys, Dan's crying. No, I'm not. All right, then come to the camera and prove it. I'm thankful for Dan because Got fired. Yeah, I got fired. <laughs> got fired for me. <laughs> then was the first member of Titan. Stress, and, but we're really excited. And you know, this wouldn't be possible without the support of all of you. So thank you so much. And we're gonna show you- That's right. You guys are what made this possible. Even back then when we weren't exactly the most perfect YouTubers, we weren't consistent, we were just trying things out. You guys made us who we are today. So I gotta thank you guys. Um, it's so important that um, I thank you guys because, yeah. Okay, now I'm feel. Now I feel like crying. Okay, I'm gonna watch the video. Oh, oh, that was a heartbreaking moment. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, we removed the staff only, right? And that was like the real moment where we realized that there's no turning back. When we removed it, we realized that this is really happening. Yeah, yeah. yeah I this is real. I don't know if I still have this. Oh, no way. What? Yeah, so this was our new apartment. Um, very fond memories here. And I, I, I know that when I move out of this place, I'm gonna feel the same way. Oh, Julian came! My parents, uh, my, my grandparents celebrating. Ah, oh, Sylvia was there! Everyone was there! Ryan was there! Ah, Vincent! <laughs> Vincent used to do work! Fun fact, that table and um, computers there are the exact same ones. I never changed it. <laughs> that was the first time my parents appeared in my video. Now they are like famous TikTok stars <laughs> along with my sister. Wow, I did not know how emotional that was. It's really beautiful to see how we've come so far from four people in a small, tiny bedroom moving to such a big office now with an even bigger crew. It's just amazing to see where it started from. So yeah, it's been a great journey and the awesome thing is that we're not going to stop here. We still have so much to go and a lot to achieve together. When I first started, I never knew how big this channel would be. When I made the decision to do YouTube full-time, I used to think that it would be literally the easiest job ever and it would just be the best. You know, we'll just have a lot of fun. But along the way, I faced so many obstacles, sleepless nights, and I just made a lot of sacrifices. You know what? There's been times where I really considered just giving up because I felt like it wasn't worth it anymore. But it's people like you guys and my friends, my team who really kept me going, my wife, uh, my parents, my baby, and I've been just so lucky to have such an amazing support system. It's, it's just a lot of luck and a lot of great people around me. And even as an aspiring YouTuber back then, a lot of people would tell me like, oh, this isn't a real job, go get a stable job, you know, what you're doing isn't real. Or they would, they would just make jokes about us. They would say that you just do the same kind of content, time, 10 types of people, all these kind of listicle videos. And you know what? I'm going to make it my life goal to make every single types of people content possible. So these things used to matter to me, but over time I realized that it's really not about the success or the money, um, even though it is important when it comes to business and to be sustainable as a YouTuber, but it's about the friendships that I've made over the past 10 years that truly matter. And I want to thank you guys for that because regardless whether you started watching yesterday or 10 years ago, you play such a big part in my life. Thank you for being part of this community 
And yeah, we will continue making great videos for you guys and we will not stop doing what we're doing.